Okay, I was really bummed when I got my new underwater camera and found out there was no record feature to it. Also, no video out, so I couldn't even use something else to record with it. I scrounged around the house, found some parts, and put together the Fish Cam DVR box. This is the box that came, or that the um, camera came in from Amazon. I cut a hole in the front here, put a little rubber band in there. Inside, using some scrap wood around the house, made a cradle that the monitor fits in. Put a hole for the cable or the wires to come out. It goes through the back of the box. Let's see how hard it is to put this together. Gonna make it a little bit more difficult using just one hand. I'll slide this down inside. Yeah, that rubber band's being a pain. I think two hands will be okay though. So now we got the. Uh, iPad setting inside the box. Light in there. Take a look at it from the front. And there it is. I can still reach my button here and the cradle. Well, I'm going to turn this off because I know that putting those wires through there is going to be more than a one handed thing. Okay, so there we are. Got the wires through. Coming back inside here. Grab the camera. Set it in. Pull the wires. And there's the uh, monitor for the camera. Now, because it's going to be out on the boat, even though I'll probably have it inside, I left the top on so that we can close the top of this and hopefully keep the light from shining in there and putting glare on the screen. Uh, my hopes are that there'll be enough light coming off the monitor for the camera or for my uh, iPad to pick it up. But that's what we'll give a try and see if we can record the video that I get while looking at my underwater friends. Well, I'll give this a try tomorrow and see how it works. Okay, let's take a look at what I'm going to do to get those pictures that I want to record. Now, here's the camera. The manufacturer has gone out of its way to make this look like a tasty morsel for a fish. Um, a little worried about that. And if you look at the cable that sends the video signals up and the power down to the LEDs, um, that's not much bigger than your cable for your phone for your headsets. I don't really know if I trust that 100 feet down with the fish that are out there in the sound. So what I did is went out and found the smallest, let's take a look at the size of this thing. This is the smallest downrigger I have ever seen. Um, it's got like, uh, I think it's 110 pound stainless steel test on it. You see there's a uh, meter here to let you know how much line you have out and we'll take that and we'll hook it right on this little bitty cannonball I found got a fin on it to keep it straight and hanging off the back of that this is a big key ring link that I stuck in the one and then this is a backup and to help hold the camera a little bit more level a uh, some type of a cable keychain ring and I'm hoping that uh, this big, well, <laughs> this small cannonball will be enough to deter a fish from, uh, you know, like a big lingcod, they could easily fit this in their mouth, uh, from taking my camera, ripping it loose, and dropping it on the bottom of the sound. But anyway, there we go. That's, that's how we're going to get down there. Again, we'll try it out tomorrow and see how it goes.